Mic check one, two, no intro needed. My name is Tam and here is my performance review of the brand black Red Meadow 2. I have played basketball in these for around 20 hours in an indoor hardwood court and I absolutely love it. Starting with sizing, my ideal size is a US size eight and a half extra wide, but I wear a US size nine in all of my hoop shoes and these fit true to size. Really good for wide feet, but if you have narrow feet, I would recommend going down half size. The traditional lacing system with seven pairs of eyelets accommodate for different foot shapes and locks your feet into the footbed very, very nicely. I enjoy lacing them up all the way to the highest eyelets. Speaking of laces, these have thick rope laces with unique texture that feels very good to the touch and they never come undone when you play, which is great. Aside from the traditional lacing system, these shoes also feature an additional set of unique and funky looking eyelets that are meant to be used casually when you rock them off the court. Since the shoelaces might be a little bit too long, if you don't use all the eyelets, you can use the extra lace loop and the provided lace lock to create a unique look. When I first held these in my hands and put them on my feet, the initial reaction was that they're so light, coming in at barely 11.3 ounces or 320 grams. To quickly compare with the former favorite hoop shoes that I had that felt pretty light was the Jordan 28, which were quite a bit heavier to my surprise. Back to more performance features, the tongue of the sneaker is attached to the inner sleeve construction that wraps around your feet very, very nicely and securely. The outer layer of the sneaker is primarily made out of military grade ripstop material that doesn't stretch at all while being super light and extremely supportive for basketball movements. On the eyelets, there are nice and thick cuts of premium suede materials that makes me feel luxurious and fancy while hooping. I forgot to mention the tongue is nicely padded with plenty of holes for ventilation. Speaking of padding, the heel and ankle area is well padded with nice amount of foam and nice lining material that hugs around your Achilles very comfortably. I was initially skeptical with the super low ankle cut, but once I laced them up, my feet were locked down securely and comfortably, even with the wide feet. Now let's talk about traction. These shoes have the Vibram slash Vibram wrap tech outsole and the traction pattern is very straightforward and simple. A bunch of X's across the entire outsole. The rubber compound feels nice, tacky enough, but also firm enough that's durable. And the grooves are pretty thick as well. On an indoor hardwood court, the grip is really strong and there's a little bit of squeaking for those who like that sound. Because the traction pattern is straightforward and simple, I was able to move back and forth, side to side, diagonally, very, very confidently, and the grip holds me down. My hardwood court that I play on a regular basis, sometimes it becomes a little dusty when facility management doesn't clean it as regularly as I would like and when people wear streetwear shoes indoor. But even for those dustier days when I had my hoop sessions, I didn't even need to wipe. I did wipe just because it's a hooper's habit to get the best possible traction for the next play. But the outsoles actually were really good, really reliable and consistent. And even when the dustiness is a little bit out of hands too crazy, it can be wiped off pretty easily absolutely no complaints from me with regards to traction here's a quick look after 20 hours of hooping in these it's dirty but there's no sign of rubber wearing off tearing off it's definitely more durable than most of the basketball shoes that i played in recently now let's talk about the amazing cushion setup using super critical jetlon it is by far the best foam cushion setup for basketball. It is really bouncy and you can definitely feel it even through the Raptek rubber outsole. You can visually see the heel to toe drop of this cushion setup. And in the heel, it is nice and thick while in the forefoot is really low to the ground. Speaking of forefoot, you have a nice and wide base with the outsole and midsole protruding out on both medial and lateral sides. Here's the deconstructed photo from Brand Black and Concept Kicks. You can see the slap of the amazing and bouncy super critical jet line. Since we're on the topic of comfort and cushioning, let's talk about insole. Underneath the microfiber fabric lining, the insoles are made out of this foam material. This actually has a little bit of bounciness and it's really comfortable. Underneath these insoles, you can see the flex grooves that provide additional flexibility at the forefoot. Also, the strobe board is quite soft that allows you to feel the cushion even better. And that's exactly how I felt when I first put these on. You can definitely feel the cushion on the heel. It's not mushy, but nice and bouncy. 
you can even feel the bounciness in the forefoot and it works really nice when you land from a jump with your forefoot touch the ground first and support it right after with your heels if i have to describe this cushion setup in three words i would use energized smooth and fun energized because the bounciness and the energy return makes me feel like my legs are younger and i feel like i can move a little bit faster in these and accelerate a little bit more explosively in the shoes smooth and fun because the cushion setup provides the perfect balance of court feel and impact protection which allows me to play with confidence and without any distractions. The price tag of 250 US dollars would be a turnoff point for many people, understandably. But for me, it is 100% worth it because I'd rather have one pair of these than two pairs of other mediocre shoes out there. Plus, these shoes visually look so unique and funky that I'm sure to break some necks along with some ankles whenever I rock them. I hope that this performance review of the brand Black Red Metal 2 was helpful. Bye.